We thought the Ruby Frank being arrested would make her take responsibility for her actions. But to our surprise, in her recent court appearance, she blamed everything on the kids. I mean, honestly, we thought Ruby Frankie couldn't get any worse, but then she proceeds to surprise all of us. Exclusive YouTuber mother Ruby Frankie appears in court and turns on her children, making outrageous claims about their behavior and accusing them of ex. Now that is something that we are going to be reading into in a bit and we're also going to be checking out some of the resurfaced videos of Ruby Frank being an absolutely terrible mother. Are we surprised? No. I mean, she cancelled Christmas for Christ's sake. She cancelled Christmas! I mean, what sort of mother does that? Rips away the only thing the children look forward to every year. I don't know. The mother from hell. If you're gonna check out my last videos, that sums everything up, but let's quickly go over it anyway. Ruby Frankie and her creature friend Jordi Hildebrandt were both arrested and charged with six counts of child- they were arrested because one of Ruby Frankie's children actually escaped Jody Hildebrand's home with duct tape around their ankles and wrists and knocked on a neighbor's door begging for food and water. So yeah, as I said earlier, the mother from hell! And in a shocking 911 call that was recorded, it turns out that the child had wounds on its body. So that is kind of very freakishly scary and very hard to get your head around that someone could do this to their own child. Someone get out of this conversation. Oh, oh no, this is an uncomfortable conversation. We must have. Lynette, are you angry at me? <sighs> Let's sit. I gave Julie a tongue lashing that will not ever be repeated nor recorded. Just use your imagination. It was bad. I, I am gonna say one nice thing, and that is you took your lashing very well. And I'm going to pretend that life is exactly how I want it. I want to go All right? Back. Okay, freak narcissist. Life can't just be the way you want it to be. That's like psychotic behavior. That's like the wanting the ability to control everybody. You know if you know if Colleen Ballinger, I almost said, oh my days. If Ruby Frankie somehow had a superpower, it would be to control other people's emotions. As I said in my last video, I feel like Ruby Frankie enjoys seeing her children suffer. The smiles that she gives is really freakishly scary. And drop and give me 10. One. Put your hands straight out. They're in. They're not supposed to be out. Her children seem genuinely scared of her. And the next clip I'm about to show you is a great example of Ruby Frankie completely neglecting her children when one of the child needs to go to the emergency room. And, you know, she talks about putting lipstick on. Shut the fuck up, all right? This is about children here, okay, Ruby Frankie? We get it. We all live in your world, okay? It's your world. Everyone's just living in it. I'm cleaning the sink. I'm cleaning the countertops. Mopping the floor. I'm stalling. I think I'm ready now. I think I'm ready to leave. I put on a little bit of lip gloss and that will be as much stalling as I'll go. And so she woke up this morning and she's like, Mom, my vision is really blurry. Like, more blurry than it usually is. Kevin just came in and he's like, I think we need to take Sherry to the emergency room. I said, well, let me take a shower and then I'll be out. <laughs> it's, been, it's been an hour, so. Yo, all oh my days, what? Your child could be having a stroke for all you know, and you're worried about putting lip gloss on. Mom, I think I think I need to go to the emergency room. I can't I can't see properly. Oh, please, Sherry, don't disturb my perfect world, okay? I need to take a shower first and put some lip gloss on, and then maybe I'll take you to the emergency room. <laughs> oh, please, you are the most neglectful, most selfish woman I've ever seen in my life. Like seriously, you need a lobotomy. You need someone to cut your brain open and, and, and fix the emotions in your head and the way you perceive the world, like. Come on now, it's your children. Dirty thing, man, you dirty fuck. Oh, and you thought that was it? No, 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 ladies and gentlemen. We're talking about Ruby Frankie here, the troll from underneath the bridge. There's a lot more where that came from, all right? How about the fact that Ruby Frankie's daughter is going through, you know, female changes, becoming a woman. And Ruby Frankie thought, what better idea than to show the world my daughter going through woman changes? Julie has been asking all summer if she can shave her legs. And armpits, and I. I never said that. I don't. Want to you shave. don't, no. Julie. Julie, you should shave your. Armpits I think your armpits, armpits need no. to be shaved more than your legs do. Yeah. When you start speaking, when you start getting bo, <laughs> we won't show it on camera. When you get bo, I think that's when you need to start shaving. Julie stinks. Julie, you need to start shaving your armpits. Look at her daughter. She's clearly uncomfortable. I mean, it's like you know when a girl first has her period. You don't want people to know that. It's a really embarrassing thing for a woman. Transitioning from a girl to a woman is a scary process. I mean, nothing, I, I wouldn't know about that. You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm a man, so. But I'm just saying, 
from what I've heard, it's scary. And for your own mother to be like, hey, hey, internet, yeah, my daughter's got like really long hair underneath her armpits. She needs to shave them. And she's like sadistically smiling about it. <laughs> yeah, that's really funny, Ruby. Really funny. Ah, we're all laughing, Ruby. What an absolute comedic piece of content. You fucking suck. How dare you invade your daughter's privacy and show the whole world. You absolutely suck, all right? Now, we do have a few more videos to look at. However, let's talk about the claims that Ruby Frankie made in court today. Well, today, yesterday, when she was in court, a couple of days ago. <laughs> Mother of six Ruby Frankie sobbed in court as she appeared for a shelter hearing for her four minor children to determine custody. Oh, she sobbed. <laughs> Feel sorry for Ruby Frankie, the narcissist. Speaking to the public courtroom Thursday, the Mormon mother at times broke down as she made shocking claims that one of her minor children essayed their sibling and molested several other family members and children in the neighborhood over the years. Is this Ruby's evil master plan to justify her actions? Is this her way of being like, this is the reason I was strict, guys. I'm not the problem. It's my very dangerous younger son that's the problem. I feel like this is where she's going with this. It's like she's trying to switch up the narrative and play on the judge's emotions. So, good job, Ruby. You continue to suck. Seeming to pin the blame for her behavior on her children, Frankie went into horrific detail about one of her six kids abused other children. She claimed that one of the Frankie kids began looking up pornography at just three years old. Oh, uh, okay. Well, uh, Ruby, hate to tell you, but, uh, you are responsible for your three-year-old child. So my question to you would be, why are you letting your three-year-old child look at pornographic material? In one of the most shocking claims, Frankie said that her child had been sexually abusing a younger sibling for years, adding that eventually the two of them began to abuse other children. She also claimed her two children played a patting game with each other, but did not go into further detail. Okay, everyone, you've heard that now, but wait until you see the evidence. Honestly, it's absolutely insane, right? Are you ready? So the evidence she has is nothing. Nothing at all, so, yeah. There's no evidence, whereas the evidence of you completely neglecting and being selfish and basically starving your children is <laughs> is very, very public and there's many pieces of evidence to that, so looks like you, uh, you're you out of cards, Ruby Frankie. <laughs> Frankie said that in May, her child confessed to sexually abusing 20 people, including cousins and neighbours. She provided no proof of her sickening allegations. The court went eerily silent after Ruby made the disturbing claims. So you're telling me, Ruby, you had strict parenting, but you'd let your kids roam around and just molest people. Now, no one really knows if these allegations are true or false. However, I have a sneaking suspicion that it is false, because I believe she's trying to, you know, reconstruct the narrative to push something forward that she's innocent and that's how she's gonna get out. I mean, nothing says motherly love more than pinning the blame on your children. Oh, yes, I did starve my children. Yes, I did cancel Christmas. Yes, I did take away their bedrooms. And yes, I made sure they had no friends. Believe it or not, I also threatened to cut my child's doll's head off. But, uh, he molested somebody. He did that! He he molested 20 people in the neighborhood. It was him! Now everybody, we know what Ruby Frankie told the courtroom. But I want to know what kind of woman Ruby Frankie is and what the neighbors think. So, let's take a look at this. Neighbors have accused Frankie of withholding food as a punishment for her children. Also say they took away Christmas one year. Neighbor stated, I remember that she took away their Christmas one year. A male neighbor said, and she would say things like, they're not repenting correctly which is a Mormon term for their sinning. Just complete insanity. Here's the thing, I am a, I'm a Christian, all right? Christian Orthodox. And, you know, if my child was not repenting their sins, I wouldn't take away Christmas from them, okay? I mean, that's just a bit over the line there, just, just a little bit, okay? And once again, hearing that she was withholding food from her children, that they can't eat until they've done their chores, Hey, you don't say that. But you don't say that. But at this point, ladies and gentlemen, Ruby Frankie and Jodie Hildebrand are completely fucked in the A, all right? And I'll tell you why. Each count that they have, which is six, okay, carries a sentence of one to 15 years in prison and have a fine up to $10,000, according to the release. And if you're wondering where all the food went for their children, well, we have leaked footage here of Ruby Frankie stuffing her face with donuts. So now that we've seen that, let's take a look at what she said about taking away the children's Christmas. Knowing people these days, I don't know if people are gonna, you know, how they're gonna respond. Um, so 
Kevin and I, we have two, well, we have six children. The two youngest are showing long patterns of selfishness. They have been showing um, through their choices, their unwillingness to repent, their unwillingness to feel sorrow over some pretty egregious choices that they've made. Um, so Kevin and I have decided that we are going to give the gift of truth to them this year for Christmas. We are going to give them the gift of boundaries and we're going to give them the gift of repentance. We told them that this year they are not going to be visited by Santa. So they will, and we prepped them, we, we let them know that the Christmas morning, their four older siblings will be getting Christmas presents to open and that they will have the gift of love from their dad and I. Apparently everyone, instead of presents, they're going to give them the gift of love. I mean, does a child really want the gift of love on Christmas? I think they just want presents. I think they want a normal Christmas that any other child would have. Holy hell, there's children in Africa that have better Christmases than these children. And we're talking about a seven-figure family here. And because a couple of their children were selfish, she's taking away their Christmas. And just look what she does to this next child. You can't come in the kitchen and take whatever you want, whenever you want. You don't feed me, nigga. Are you hungry? Wow, I mean, what? <laughs> what? You can't come in the kitchen and take whatever you want. Even if you're hungry, you can't come in here and take anything. And I love how she pans the camera to a sad child as well to show how sad he is. This is disgusting, Ruby. He is obviously hungry. That's why he came in the kitchen to grab something to eat. Maybe if he wasn't so selfish and self-centered, you'd make your child some food. Oh, but wait. Sorry, child, but you can't eat anything until you've done your chores. Oh, so, such a sad life you live. Why don't you just remain hungry? while I sit on my throne. So that said, I'm gonna leave you with a quote from the Bible, Hebrews 13, 16. Don't forget to do good and share what you have because God is pleased with these kind of sacrifices. See you guys in the next one. You mad bro? Uh, yeah. I said tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad bro? Uh.